Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to a bit more Crusader Kings 3. I've been away for a while, I needed a bit of a break after my Mercia playthrough, because uh, I did quite a lot of that. I've still been playing on my own, I've really enjoyed it. Obviously though, there's a lot of changes happened to the game since I last played, but we'll get straight into it here. We're going for the Blood Eagle achievement, so... Let's have a look. I'll have a look at it in a second. Basically, as e any of the sons of I of Ragnar Lothbrok control. Oh, is Ivar Bjorn Ironside? He's son Bjorn Ironside. He is actually a son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But uh, yeah. Um, so Ivar or half down white shirt. This is. And we'll have a look. We'll jump in. And basically, the entire purpose of this is we've got to control all of Britannia. Um, obviously, we're starting in a war. Pretty much straight away, but we should be able to do this. It's 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 gonna be a fun fun aggressive playthrough um, Not gonna change the name of the save. Let's get a save there uh, You could tell I've been continuing my Mercia game in the background. I, I stopped it because people weren't watching I know I've had a few people ask So yeah first thing first let us go look at the achievement we are after today uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's make sure we're on possible achievements just to see. So, Blood Eagle. Starting as any child of Ragnar Lothbrook. Uh, conquer all of the British Isles. I know I'm pronouncing Ragnar Lothbrook lightly, right? Because of all the TV shows. <laughs> so, obviously, we are starting as Jorvik here. And we are going to... Uh, we are instantly at war with the Northumbrian. Northumbrians. We also have some special armies, which really help. Basically, give us a lot of extra troops early in the game. I want to make sure I do not waste these. All right, no lifestyle. I think that we are going martial. Oh my god, we are already all the way down that one, which is the one I was going to go for. Um, extra prowess. Make sure our prowess is epic. Hmm. And my. Air is unmarried. Ooh. I think a good solid alliance here would be the one I want, in fact. Somebody back home over in Scandinavia is who I really want an alliance with. I mean Greater Poland? No, not really. I don't really want to be allying with anybody inside Britannia. No, he doesn't have anybody. I'm having a look around for people I can betroth to. Ooh. To my son and heir. There we go. There's a risk of children being inbred. What's the worst that could happen? To be fair, for now, I'm going to leave it. Um, Upland. Again, they're all related to me. I mean, they won't, but if I could... Oh my god, they will! Ha! Oh no, no they won't. Ha. If I'd been able to manage that, that would have been awesome. Okay, anyway, I'm, I'm going to not marry off my heir just yet. Let's check my succession. So I will lose some titles because of partition, but we will keep the overall title. That's fine. Okay, we are on Iron Man, guys, obviously, so... Let's merge everything into one and put myself in charge. And let's move straight up to Dunholm and then into Bernicia. <coughs> now, obviously, our, our capital here of Jorvik. This is one of the best starting areas, actually. While I might want to move down to uh, London later on uh, because it's got slightly better things long run, this area is a ridiculously good starting area, guys, for buildings and stuff. Not that I can do much because I am not feudal. Oh no, I can still build everything. I just don't think I can like build new holdings particularly well. 
No. <clears throat> so there's some quite aggressive expansion early on here, guys. I can negotiate an alliance with Bjorn. We'll do that up in Upland. Uh, what else things? Family members, uh, you're online to inherit titles. Ooh. Really? Okay. Yeah, I'm not fussed about that. Uh, let's invite some more champions, actually. Because we are going to be doing lots of raiding in this playthrough. Basically, this this war is the one we need to win early. I am at war with all these guys down here as well. But there's also a war going on over there for Anglia, which is hopefully going to distract them. And the wall there. Um, we're going to march there. As soon as here falls, we're going to push up to Bernicia. No. Not a cat in hells. Victory in battle as well. There we go. So, obviously, guys, this is going to be quite an aggressive playthrough here. Um, we are going to need to expand massively. I've not even raised my main army yet. I'm not using any money on troops, which is quite nice, actually, to be able to do. Probably do want to start building up. Hmm. Let's have a look at my other places. Because some places around here... Ah, oh, I don't have any. If I can build up here, I can get forest forts. If I could build a castle there. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I've got to build a city first. I don't think I can actually build a city. Because I'm a wrong type of holding. I need to probably convert to feudal at some point, but I mean, again, no rush because of the uh, benefits of being this. So first thing first, oh, I do like the idea of that for the extra wealth, but a barracks to start with to increase my um, levy size because early game, 100 levies is huge. <laughs> also want to invest in some men at arms. My men at arms take uh, prestige. Or I thought they did. Oh, maybe that's something which has been changed. I thought they took prestige, but apparently they don't anymore. Or it could be a uh, different types of feudal society work that way. So we'll see. Obviously, other stuff going on up in the north. I am being raided. Oh. I don't think I actually am. Mercy has got quite a big force there. I may need to turn around to deal with that. No, they, they've fallen back. That's absolutely fine. And my allies are helping there. <coughs> Didn't even realise they were involved in this. not going to go a ransoming just yet. This war is almost over because I only need 90% to win it. So yeah, I think this is going nicely. <coughs> Northumbria is going to uh, become part of the Dane law. We will obviously be enacting the Dane law at some point as well. Because why not? Soon. Soon. I say I went down the perfect tree because that peacemaker is gorgeous. And obviously I need to give some stuff away straight away. Uh, give that to my half-brother. Spread these amongst as many people as I can. Whoa, yes please. Shibon, Shib Shib there, can get that. That Marshall, he is getting something. 
Carlisle here. Let's have a look. Aw. Norse with good stewardship, my guest. There we go. Trying to kind of pick people from both. There we go. My steward and vassal. So that actually works. And one more to give away. Let's give this to somebody else, Marshall, to make sure I get them in. My guest. There we go. Okay, and let us get some more champions. I'd prefer higher level, but for now, those two will do. Pockington here. Already has a in nice income building, so yeah, you can go to a mixed... So pastoral land is a bit of money and some levy, so we're going to do that one there. Leeds? I think I'm going to go for income at Leeds. I'm basically going to f try and maintain a mixture, guys, because that way... I mean, it, obviously, that way I can grant... Ah, uh, this one's already held by a low noble. Uh, I can't revoke it, even though it's held by a low noble. There you go. Oh, finally after this time, I have the cold-blood-hearted uh, petty king Ella of Northumbria at my mercy. When I first heard of my when I first heard of my father Ragnar's death at his hands, I swore I would have my vengeance, and I am a man of my words. Uh, Blood Eagle him. I gain dread or uh, prestige. Uh, his family dislike me. The man is yours, Great Oakden. I can get some religion. Oh. I have other plans. No, Blood Eagle him. There we go. <clears throat> so the real thing is, I probably I want to have another war relatively quickly here, guys, because we want to keep the aggression on here for as long as as long as possible. It needs to be Mercia because I want uh, Lindsay because it's part of my du jour. So I do straight away have a reason to. I can just invade kingdom. They are inferior. They don't have any allies at the moment. So actually, I think I'm going to go straight into this to try and capture Lindsay because it is part of my, it is part of Jorvik's uh, du jour. Uh, and then we might look at doing a bit of raiding for some cash money. So yeah, straight in. I wish I could do duchy, but am I, I'm not illustrious enough yet. Obviously, at some point, I am going to have to go to war with my brother as well. But no, we're going to go straight in for Lindsay. Chester would be good, but it's not part of my du jour. Um, bump. We're going to split our forces at least to start with to try and smash them faster, guys. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on what's going on, however. <clears throat> Effectively, I need to reduce these guys. Wessex is obviously the threat. Uh, I need to deal with that Alfred down here, though. It's, he's not in charge yet. Oh, no, Alfred is now in charge. So, yeah, we need to deal with Alfred at some point soon. Um, we'll see how that goes. They are going around me, that's fine. <clears throat> I can always push back and deal with them afterwards, so. And I'm in charge of one of my armies, so it's not like it's a huge problem.
Fat Dave. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. That's perfect, guys. I'm going to smash into them. Where's my music gone? I'm going to smash into them really easily, actually. Um, and I'll utterly destroy them. I can't believe Northumbria is still going. In fact, I've got some... Before they disappear, I want to ransom some people off to them. This is the main aim of the war, so as soon as I've got hold of here, we're in a good position. to Leicester there. You can chase these guys off. There we go. And this isn't going to last long now. <clears throat> I kind of wish I could have gone for more, but again, we're going to do some raiding after this to get ourselves some income, because raiding is always fun. Something I've not done a huge amount of. I did some in my, um... In my Russia play, in my Rust play, but obviously we've got much more raiding options now. There we go, we can become gallant. It's really cool. Makes us that much more powerful, so. Eh, we're not perfect, but we're still good. There we go. Right, I want some men at arms. I'm gonna grab some light footmen to start with. And some archers. Some bowmen. And we have Lincoln, which is part of my du jour, so that's perfect. Obviously, we are having a few issues. I really should have looked at my council earlier, because good god, they're terrible. Uh, do I have anybody good? Nope. Sorry, and you, you need to be somebody who likes me more. Which is perfect, my Chancellor, oh. My son and player heir, there we go, you're reasonable. But you like me, which is a kind of important thing. Uh she can stay with me. I've done that one before. Basically, it was the option of my wife to go off and go play with others, basically. Right. Lose. Raid. Local. Raiders. 13. 17. Basically, we're going to raid down this way. To start with. I mean, theoretically, I could sail and raid over here, but I don't want to quite go annoy Frankie yet. Need to be a little careful because theoretically uh, they could actually deal with me. So we're going to try and stay in the borderlands to start with, and we're probably going to go over and have some fun with the Welsh as well. <clears throat> We're getting there for the cat with the cash already, actually. So, oh, do I have a few other ransoms? Yes, I do. 
I know I could potentially get more, but at the moment I just, just want to get some cash out. Okay, we've nearly finished our construction there. As soon as we're done here, we're coming home. Yeah, we are raiding that. There we go. Nice little raid, getting us 100 extra gold, which at this point is actually quite nice. One of the things I am going to be doing much more this time, which I didn't really do last time, is building myself up. Because I didn't actually do that as much last time. And it quite obviously helps you. Certainly economically, I can afford to maintain bigger armies, have more money coming in, and it's going to really help us here. Obviously, we do want to keep attacking people as much as possible, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, I am the head of the house. That's good. Am I? I'm not the cultural head, so that's not good. Long run, I will be. Long run, I will be. So let's have a look at my other things, my decisions here. So obviously, restore the Dane law. Um, so I don't need to control Wessex, I need to control the North, which makes sense. Uh, we'll get there. So the Dane law is going to be the first thing we're going to go for. Um, which is going to require lots of lovely aggression, but we'll see how that goes. Let's disband that army. You, 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 you. Cash, please. Cash money, please. Um, I could also go potentially go raiding over in Ireland. I mean, I could send a raiding force down here. It's just much more tricky, and even going to war to sea is dangerous. But I do think another raid is needed. Maybe over into Wales. Uh. No, I'm going to leave my raiders for now. And yeah, we'll have to think where to go next time. Should marry him off. No, send for physician for the physician now. Ah, I can't talk today. Most expensive person, which does make me a bit skink. Uh, do no more than is necessary. Okay, excellent. Worst reduced disease symptoms. But with that going on, I need to do some dynastic diplomacy to make sure. Yeah, you see. Sorry. So I can only get rid of one. We're going to get rid of him next. But a smaller war is better than a bigger war. He will form his own uh, duchy. Um, on the death of, fa of my father. But I can easily smash that. Let's just check what happens with my special regiments. Um, succession, 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 succession. Okay, that's good. They're all inherited. So that's fine. And um, that's something useful to know. Um, okay. Oh, low control. I need to fix that. That's the reason I went into this in the first place. And let's start converting people, please. And promoting our own culture to make sure everybody here is good, uh, good Norse. 
Okay, and obviously we're going to potentially get the rest of Lancaster next. We need to get Northumbria, then Mercia and East Ang Anglia. And then we can form the Dane Law. But that's where we're going to leave it for today, guys. So I do hope you have enjoyed this. Please do feel free to pop any comments in the comment section. In fact, it's encouraging. It really does help my videos go. Obviously, uh, go. I don't know how long this playthrough will go for. It depends how we do, I guess. Other than that, as always, thank you to everybody for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I obviously, make sure to see more content, but really does help the channel as well. And as always, a massive thank you to my patrons. You really do help make all this possible. Thank you all.